Pour nous ne complaire pas de ma hair, oh. Now on a drag me, cause I make a do video. Don't complain about what I'm saying. I beg, just watch what I have to say. <laughs> How are you guys doing? It's been a while. It's been a very, very long time that I showed up on this channel like this. Now, this Grammy issue is everywhere. Everybody's talking about it. And I've listened to all the pundit and I've seen your taggings and all those things. And I said, let me just come here and drop my opinion. Because I have a very different opinion from the rest of the people. All, everybody was quite negative about it. Some people were pessimistic, some people were sad, some people were angry. And I, I was watching them, I said, ah, me, I feel differently, yo. That's how I feel. And I want to share my opinion with you, and I would like to hear what you have to say. So just leave a comment under this video. Tell me how do you, what do you think about this Grammy thing sincerely from your heart. And do that after I have dropped my opinion on this video. And let me see if all of you are thinking towards my direction or you are thinking towards the direction of other people. Because I say we can't continue like that. When I watch the Grammy, I say to myself that, look, Nigeria is the biggest winner of that Grammy that day. Even though non-Nigerian artists got the award, but we are the biggest winner of that Grammy that day. And I will explain to you why. But before I go into that, please, guys, subscribe to this channel. If you are returning, you, my faithfuls, if you are returning and you have been watching, most of you don't even subscribe, but I see you, I see the analysis, analytics. I see a lot of returning viewers, uh, but they are not subscribers. So guys, click back, subscribe. Then stay tuned because I have been so busy throughout last year. Even this year, I wanted to change this channel and start working permanently. Uh, you know, but a lot of things are going on for me. I'm going to travel back to Nigeria. I have a lot of things to fix when I come back and I'm settled. My madam is going to be here. That time I will not have any distractions. So I will just make sure, say, ah, oh, well, I'll give my dedicate all my energy to this channel. Now, shout out to Corporate Junkie. I've seen your message, your email. I read it. I replied you. You replied me back. We're going to fix that interview. For those of you who are watching Corporate Junkie, we have an interview coming up together. I'm going to reply and we're going to have that interview. Now, aside from all the distraction, give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe and stay tuned. I want to speak about this subject. Now, I listened to, even Corporate Junkie spoke about the subject, but when I listened to him, he was gloomy about it. I listened to Adishokbe. Adishokbe had some regret, had some anger to fix with the whole issue. Now, then I listened to other pundit, I listened to other channel, and I laugh. I say, ah, what is going on? Am I crazy? Am I the only one that is seeing things that people are not seeing? Because when I watch Bonner Boy, when I watch Bonner Boy performance, I stood up. I was on my feet. I was dancing. I was shaking. Goosebones was going all over my body. I was sweating. I was full of pride and happiness with what I was seeing. And I was shocked when I, after I left the Grammy and then people came up and I saw a lot of negative opinion. And I say, ah, is this true? And in short, some of those opinions nearly affected how I saw the Grammy. But <laughs> I have to remain true to myself. And it is what I felt. And that is what I'm about to share with you now. You see, even though Tyler won that Grammy, Against Nigeria, not I cannot say against Nigeria. She deserved it actually because she did well as serendipity. Sometimes serendipity can push you to where you you don't even expect to be, but she won it, and I think she deserved it. Okay, just as all the people that we are nominated. As a matter of fact, those categories, Bonaboy had four nominations, Davido had three nominations, Ashake was there, Olamide was there, Arya Star was there. Aside that, aside Nigerians dominating these categories, the Nigerians also, a Nigerian performed on that stage. I don't know if you have seen it. I can't share the video here because of copyright, but I will urge you and I will beg you to go back, type Grammy on YouTube or go to Twitter and watch the performance Bonaboy did carefully. Watch it. Play it, 
replay it again carefully and watch how he performed. I want you to pay attention to the talking drum that he used. Go, 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 The Yoruba attire that he used. The introductions. The African women with the basket. All the movement. All the choreography. All the stages. Even before you get to that stage, I want you to go back to when Bonaboy was introduced to the stage. And listen carefully to what Trevor Noah said. He said originally from Nigeria. That was what he said though. A lot of people didn't know. A lot of people knew Bonaboy. Some of them thought he was a Jamaica because of his style of music. Some of them thought he's an American. Some of them even thought he's from England. A lot of people have had different opinions about him. But on that stage, Bonaboy was carrying the sh was carrying Africa on his shoulder. He was carrying Nigeria. He was representing our culture and our people, and that was what I saw. Now you might come out and say, "Oh, someone won the Grammy. Grammy used the video. Uh, Tyler won the Grammy. Grammy used the video to promote." What do you expect? <coughs> what do you expect? The kind of relationship we have with the Western world is straight by butter. They chop from you, you chop from them. Why are we there to begin with Nigerians? Let us not lose our focus. Our focus is not to win the Grammy. Yes, individually, I know David wanted to win that for his own pride. But our focus, we should not lose the focus. <coughs> Sorry. That the target is having more exposure to the external world. That is it, though. That is all we can ask for. We cannot ask for more than that from the Grammy. We can. We don't have the luxury. We can't ask for more than that from Oyibo people. They can't give it to us. It is not theirs to give us. We have gained all the exposure in this world. We push this genre independently. All we can do, get the connections. I keep pushing this genre and conquering. And that is one thing I want us to pay attention to. Let's not get distracted by conspiracy theories about white people trying to hijack Afrobeat and all those things. Let us stay focused on our objective. They have to eat something and don't blame them. It is in their nature. Every capitalist system is like that. There is nobody conspiring against Afrobeat. That is just capitalism. And mind you, the Fela song that was playing Water when Tyler was coming out instead of her own song wasn't an error. The Grammy profiteer on controversy. That is what they do. They know how to do this. They know how to ride people's emotion, and they got it. <coughs> they got it. <coughs> Nigerians are giving them the emotion they are looking for. That controversy, that debate, they have gotten it. Me, I will say it all. Nigerians didn't lose anything in this last Grammy. If anything, we are the biggest winner of that Grammy because our culture was projected to the world. Bonaboy sang three songs there. You saw him on stage with supporting artists. Or he put, uh, Abrodians, Americans came to support him. Brandy, Bonaboy was then when that woman started singing. But you saw it today. She was on stage. Uh, was it Brandy? What is her name? Singing with him. <coughs> so we didn't lose anything. That is my opinion. Our people must remain focused. And for the call that we should go back and start uh, Hades, I think our people needed this shock to reject them, to come back to their senses and say, look, let us look inward. In my own opinion, we didn't lose anything. We represented Nigerian culture. We represented Yoruba culture. We represented Africa on the global stage. Everybody was watching. And we made a statement with our culture with our song <coughs> and Bonaboy did it with such swag and I look at it and I'm very proud of it and I don't care that our video didn't win anything I don't care that is what I want to say I don't want us to be distracted we are too big for that if anything right now I want to see our people targeting the Indian market I want to see our people targeting the Chinese market to use this global platform and target these people Bonaboy has won Grammys. He doesn't need any of those things.
He doesn't need it. You don't need it for any form of validation. Just keep doing your work. Keep conquering. Keep dominating. That is how it is supposed to be. This is how I see it. <coughs> I don't know how you see it. Let me go and drink water before I choke on this topic. Oh. I don't know how other people see it. This is my opinion. No? Please drop your comment on the... Drop it. I want to know how you think. I want to know how you feel. I just want to know that I'm not the only one. That is crazy. I me, mean, I'm happy. Our people are conquering. They are dominating. But people can't just leave that sad mindset. Thinking that we have to lose everything. I don't see it that way. I see it as a win for Nigeria. I see it as a win for Yoruba culture. I see it as a win for Nigeria. For Bona Boy. To be the main performing artist on the Grammy stage. I see it as a win for the African music industry. The wall that had these prisms, this view of Africa as a charity case. I see them now looking back to Africa. I see the American artists now looking forward to collaborate more with Nigerian artists. And that is what I see. I don't know how you feel about it. This is just my opinion. And I will use my power the connections that I have and people that we can speak with to see things this way. And it is our duty to push this narrative that we didn't lose anything. So share this video with your friends. Download it, share it on your Facebook, share it on your TikTok, share it on your Twitter. We are not losing anything. Instead, we won this Grammy. We dominated this Grammy with our presence, with our culture, with our songs. And that is how I see it. I will leave that now. I will sign out. I will come back again. Leave your comment. I will read every comment. Give this video 1,000 thumbs up. 1,000 likes. 1,000 subscribers. The objective is to get to 15,000. So don't forget to do that. Salute guys.